Inventors and engineers make prototypes as a way to show their ideas and test their ideas. For example, if you were an engineer creating a new phone, you wouldn't make the complete phone right away. Instead, you would make a prototype out of inexpensive materials, that way you can test the shape and the feel, or if you want to figure out if the code works. Let's walk through an invention we made here at Kid Museum called a movement dice. Our movement dice has different exercises on each side, that way when you roll it, it tells you what to do. We wanted our dice to be made by our students so they could design and customize each side of their dice. The first step of our prototyping process is making a sketch. Our sketch allows us to see if we like our idea and it allows us to get feedback from other people. If you don't want to make a sketch, you can also make a prototype as a 3D model in Tinkercad. Here we made our prototype out of cardboard. We liked how it had six different sides for six different exercises. So we drew our different movements on our dice and then we gave it to kids to test. They liked how it looked and how it worked, but they didn't like the tape on the sides and when they rolled it, they said it was too light and it didn't roll very well. So then we had to think what new material could we use to help fix this problem. So we decided to do some brainstorming and we went with wood as our material. So we had to then think, if we want other people to make this dice, how are they going to put it together? We decided to make our sides puzzle piece shapes. That way you get cleaner edges when you put them together and it'll be easier to assemble. After we had our box put together, we gave it to other people for their feedback. They liked how it felt, they liked how it rolled, but they thought our dice could be a little bit more exciting. They suggested we add some sound to it. So back to the drawing board and we decided to add a micro bit to give it some sounds. Our micro bit allows us to add sound to our dice, so each time we move our micro bit, place different sounds. We tested our micro bit over and over again because this is our works like prototype. We wanted to make sure our code worked the way we wanted. We had our code, we had our micro bit, now it was time to put it in our box. At first we just put it on the inside, but then it was rolling around too much when we rolled the dice. So an easy way to fix that was to just tape it to one of the sides. That way it stayed in place as we rolled our dice. Now we had our final prototype product. This now allows us to ask questions like, do other people know how to use it? Does it work the way we want to? And do we like how this looks? Throughout this prototyping process, we tried a lot of different things and tried new materials to get to a product we were happy with. Don't be afraid to try new things because that's what the inventing process is about. Keep on making.